Hello and welcome to the How to Travel Vegan podcast. I'm your host, Tom Simak, and today we're exploring Budapest, Hungary. Budapest overall is an amazing city tourism wise, but in terms of vegan friendliness, it is absolutely amazing. So to make things much easier, all of the seven restaurants that I'll recommend in today's episode are vegan only. And because we are in Hungary as well, just keep in mind my pronunciation is not up to scratch. So please check the show notes for the correct spelling. We'll kick things off with Nap Fenyes restaurant. So popular, they're sporting over 2,000 Google reviews. Huge menu with plenty of options like pizzas, falafel platters, soups, catering to gluten-free and raw as well. For an entree in Maine, you'd be looking at around 15 Australian dollars per person. Next up is Cosmos Vegan Eterum. They do stews, goulash, burgers, and even quesadillas. An entree in Maine will set you back around $12. They have gluten-free options as well, which is awesome. Moving on to our comfort food options, we have vegan love. Burgers, fries, hot dogs, idos, donuts, and smoothies. Really good mix. Catering to gluten-free as well, and they can do delivery. Whilst on the topic of comfort food, we also have Las Vegans. They are a fast food trailer, otherwise known as a kiosk. They do burgers, fries, pizza, smoothies, and raw cakes. A burger here will set you back around 10 Australian dollars, which I think is pretty good. Next up, we have 827 Specialty Kitchen, a buffet that focuses on traditional Hungarian foods where you pay by weight. You've got gluten-free options here as well. For a pub-style feed, check out Zabad Bistro. Just built last year in 2019, they have everything from beers and wines to bagels and sandwiches. Moving on, we have Plant Milky Way, a cute coffee and cake shop. I really like the look of it. Super central and their cakes are gluten and soy free. And we'll finish up the food portion of things with Vegazi, a wood-fire Neapolitan-style pizzeria. You've got flavors like the classic margarita and Mexicano to even mushroom, pesto, and tofu ricotta. They are more of an outdoor place, so pick your weather-friendly days wisely. And those are my top eight. Honestly, I had to toss up between 50 places that I actually liked, so do not hesitate to just head out and find a place that looks really cute to try yourself. It is a very, very vegan-friendly city, like I mentioned at the beginning. As for tours, we can head over to budapest101.com. They do private vegan food tours that run four to five hours. The first person will be 130 euro, and then each person after that will be 30 euro each. For activism, we've got Hungry Animal Save on Facebook, which operate in conjunction with Animal Save Movement. You also have Anonymous for the Voiceless and the Earthlings Experience operating in the area. The best way to get involved is one, by checking out their website and just messaging them to find a charter near you. That is all for today's episode. If you liked it, a review goes a long way. You can find me on Instagram or on TikTok at How to Travel Vegan. Of course, these videos get posted on YouTube as well as a reminder. So if you want a more visual representation of the food you're listening to, by all means, it is linked in the bio of each video. And if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a like and the podcast is on every app just so you guys have the most options to listen to this in the way that's most convenient to you. But that is all for me today. Thank you very much for listening. Much love. Peace.